The lights signal a resin shortage. Where can I find some resin for the scanner? Ask Antoine. Thanks. I'll have a look around. I'll see you later. I need some resin for the 3D printer. What are you up to, Siren? Ugh, pretty please. I'd like to finish it and go to bed. I'm leaving first thing in the morning. You know that I haven't been sleeping well since I got my berth on the land. I beg you. I don't know where I keep that resin. Before his accident, Marcel scanned something but didn't manage to print it. On that night? Yes, he was in a hurry. He had a meeting. Did you see who with? Oh, I didn't stick my nose out in that slanting rain. I wouldn't like to have been at sea then. Uh, I just thought I could finish the thing he'd started. I'll be back in a moment, Siren. There's somebody in front of the inn admiring the view. Judging by the apron, it's the innkeeper. Only in Brittany can you admire such a sky. Ugh, terrible weather. Is it always like this? Yesterday it was worse. I don't know how people can stand it here. People fly away like umbrellas. Have you always lived here? Me? No, only since I was born. Then you must have been here last week. Yeah, but it's nothing to be proud of. May I come in? It's freezing out here. We are closed today. Uh, on the day he died? He wouldn't fall down during the day. At night. Was he alone? No, he would rarely come alone. Usually with Claire. Ah, so he was with Claire. I haven't said that. He came alone. I thought he had an appointment. Possible. That strange man was already waiting for him. What did he look like? I cannot tell you. There was nothing distinctive about him. He was sitting in a dark corner. I didn't even see him come in. Did they order anything? Only Marcel. He came up to the bar and ordered absinthe. They left together? Yes, there was a raging storm outside, but they left. You can't avoid your destiny. Will true friendship weather all the storms? What do you think? I don't know. If it doesn't, then is it really true? And if it isn't true, is it really French? Perhaps it doesn't demand great effort to check it. Just enough to walk to the castle? The way to the castle and from the castle is exactly the same. See ya. Maybe. The innkeeper suggests a weird stranger might be responsible. But can I trust his account? The dramatic events of that night took place right here. How about examining this place more closely? An interesting motif. A tree. This coin is unique and looks very old. An ancient coin with a sophisticated emblem of the Tree of Life perfectly preserved. The obverse is covered with linear A script. 
Who could have lost such a precious rarity? Oh, that disturbing vision. Was it the varnish fumes? I don't really know what to think of it all. I'm afraid the Count might be behind Marcel's death. On the other hand, I should pick up the gauntlet and try to solve this case. I also need some powder for the printer. We ordered some, but it hasn't been delivered yet. But if you need it so much, there's another way. Such as? Once Marcel used potato flour. As a result, the printout was less durable. Do you have some flour, Antoine? Why would I keep it here, Siren? See you, Antoine. Fair winds and following seas, Siren. I'm from the museum. Yom's got the largest stock now that Marcel's dead. Stock of what? I don't really know. No one invites me to the castle. Have you got any flour? Maybe I do. You're making pancakes there? No. I need some starch for the 3D printer. Have you still got that well? We do. And I'm short of water. You are short of water? Good water, not rain water. Don't you have plumbing? Damaged. Oh, so that's why you're closed. A decent French plumber costs a fortune. Then you might just as well bring some water from the well. Uh, that barber won't let me in. What barber? Antoine. He was a barber on a ship? A barber, period. He's a nice man, in fact. Not to me. And has had so many fascinating experiences. He's already cast a spell on you. Well, obviously he tends to exaggerate, but you really seem to hate him. Why? If you don't know the reason, then the reason must be a woman. Some kind of romantic story? Not at all. During the season, that mythomaniac is a regular at seaside cafes. There he talks about his adventures at sea. Oh, it must be interesting. Sometimes it's one of those days. That gorgeous woman was listening to him so intently. What did you do? I couldn't bear it. I've known him since we were kids, and I know that he's never... Hmm? ...poked his head out of his barber shop. You don't say. That confabulator used to work in the port district. From morning to night, he would cut the hair of sailors who had just gotten ashore and felt like talking. And now, thanks to his good memory, he knows hundreds of sea tales. Ah, <sighs> you've made me sad. Like that woman. Well, now I understand. So, will you give me some flour? I'll give you the flour for a bucket of water from the well. Fine. I'll bring you water, but uh, what about the bucket? You can have this one. See ya. Maybe. I guess I have to bring him some water from the well, then.